Hi, I am very pleased to introduce you Flexi Common Box version 3.1 and let's get on with it. This is the main uh, site page for uh, Flexi Common Box version 3.1 and at the end of the page we have a working copy of the product. This we are really excited about the colors in this version because you have a lot to choose from. Let's start there. We have introduced a very latest, uh, uh, very new trend of mixing crossfading colors. Since uh, this product is supposed to be installed all over the web and there are many websites have different color schemes and, and black and white doesn't really fit everywhere. So we have this crossfading mixing colors. Let's see how it works. In order to change the look, or in order to customize your Flexicon box, you need to go into administrator view, click on administrator. You have this free login window, type in your email and your administrator password. And there you are, you are in administrator's view. So let's first up change the background color. You click on this link once, and now you have this free appearance panel, and you have three different colors. The first one is top, middle, and the bottom. So you can actually use three cross-fading colors and create your own unique customized flexicone box. For example, if I take mm, green of blue, any preposterous colors, red, just to prove my point. And there you are. So yeah, whatever works for you, huh? And you can, you can choose maybe all white. This never goes wrong, you know, it always works fine. Or you can choose maybe only top and bottom colors. Let's say I like this color. And you have this, this product, this uh, Flexicon box has a dark mm, color up and in the bottom and in middle it's lighter, it's whitish. So this is how you work with it. And I like it, yeah, both top and bottom white and in the middle some some bluish thing I really like that so this looks fine and this is not just the background you can also change the chrome color for example the chrome color of uh, input panel you double click on it and again appearance panel appears and you can change the chrome color chrome color is behind, uh, sorry, there's an E missing here. Um, there, uh, the, the chrome color has a muffler in front of it, so it, it muffles down the color. So if you choose really blue, it's not going to be exactly this color, but it's going to be behind a muffle. So, so it, it looks, yeah, a little toned down color. And you can do the same with the buttons. You click, double click the button, and this appear panel appears again. And you can also change the text. For example, instead of commit, I say mm, OK or maybe submit. And I can change the color of the uh, text, maybe make it blue and maybe a light blue. So the same idea, top and bottom. So it's going to be cross fading between top and bottom colors. And if you click save, you have this new button which starts in white and ends in uh, blue, light blue or turquoise and then uh, the text is submit and it's in blue. So we can change this too but let's just avoid it right for the time being. And this is for the buttons. Now let's go to labels. If you click on label, any label here apart from these two, if you click here, double click here, you have this appearance panel and you can change the text here too. You can customize it. For example, if you're, if you have your website in German, then you can type in Kommentar or the, or something like that. Or 
you can simply have it in, in English, maybe comments. You can change the font, maybe papyrus, size, I think 22 is nice, and the color of the text. And you press save and you have comment in papyrus. And you can also double click on this. I, I think it's a little smaller. I'd like it maybe 13. And you can also change the uh, font here. Herculanum. Yo, that's pretty good. And then let's change it here too. Let's make it 13. This looks nice. And we go to Herculanum and 13. So, so this is how my comment box looks like right like now. So I have customized every single bit and you are still in administrator's view, but that doesn't matter because everyone else visiting your website right now do not see this view. They, they, they do not see administrator view. They see the normal view. So you, technically you never need to get out of administrator view. But if you want to check it out as a user or maybe type in a comment yourself, so you just need to refresh it. So you don't really have to log out of the administrator view. No one else can get in. So now you're in uh, out of that view, you're in, in normal view, and now you can type in, for example, this is the first comment, and you click Submit. See the way the comment hinges right into place? Let's, let's just refresh it to see how it you know ends up on the comment. It just appears. And now let's start. I have one more comment here. This is second comment. And I submit here. And now I have two comments. And uh, notice how there's a scroll bar here now. Instead of making your uh, web page enormously long and painful to scroll, it just increases its own scroll bar. So if you have 20 comments, you don't have a, you don't have to uh, scroll down like five minutes. You can simply scroll just the comment bar and still get back to the uh, real original text or original content of the website quickly. So you don't really get lost into comments instead of reading the, uh, and uh, watching the content of the page. Let's refresh it just to see how it looks now. And we have two comments. Let's show you how to delete comments. Click administrator again. Let's say, sorry. And I am going to delete one of the comments. Let's say I'm going to re remove Staka. One of the comments, Staka is gone. Now, just to make sure that it is really gone, I'm going to prove it to you and re refresh the page. And so you see the Staka comment is gone and there's only one comment now. Thank you very much for watching and have fun with it.